Hi, I'm Wilson. Glad to see you again. I should say thank you because this MIDI Captain series is getting more and more popular. A lot of our friends and guitarists use this to control the multi effects, computer softwares, and any equipment with the MIDI control functions. And as well, we got so many feedback, advice, a lot of good ideas. I'm begging your patience and we will try our best to make those valuable advice to become true. Today, I'm just recording this simple video to show how to customize the keys uh, for controlling the uh, chord cortex. And this demand actually comes from our best friends and the great guitar hero, Neil Zaza. Before we get to the main topic, let me just introduce a tiny little new product, the labor caps. Actually, Neil Zaza also helped us to give this name, labor caps. Let's see what happened. So this idea actually arises in one of our internal meetings and we just have the brainstorms. It's very simple and made by two parts. So the cap and the cap of the cap. We just give this color the labels as well. And you can also make your own, just a piece of paper. You can put a name, anything like a delay, boost, uh, distortion, uh, something like this and put then. Okay, you can put the label the cap to your multi effects. So any foot switch with the 10 millimeter diameter, you can use this. It's very standard, very simple and very useful. Let's see how those looks like when the label is already in. And let's say we are designing this package and uh, there will be 12 caps for one package. Okay, now let's see what's the question from Neil Zaza. So Neil said uh, in chord cortex mode, can we make one, two, three, four ABCD for pedals instead of sense and make the down button tuner and up button tap. Uh, it's just a swap the down and up. So I think this could be done. Let's look at the menu of the chord cortex and find the MIDI chart. So this is all the MIDI commands that uh, chord cortex can take. Here we see from CC35 to CC42. So you can have the buttons as preset, stop, or sense. I think this is exactly the same as the uh, buttons on the device. So far, we made the cort cortex presets uh, for the sense control is using the CC43. These commands to do the same select and the tab and the tuner will be very easy just to change the CC value. We can go to pentaudio.com to download our latest firmware package. After unzip the package, we can see all the files inside and this setup folder includes all the settings for the normal mode and this gig setup includes all the setups for the gig mode. Now we just want to do some change on the normal mode and the presets 10. So this is the 10 keys function. It is arranged like this, the key 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's do the change one by one. So for key 0, now we can see here. So this is for changing the LED color. Here is all for the commands when the key is pressed down. So it's enabled. So the mood is CC commands. Then we can ignore all the PC settings for CC and CC number is 43. Now we should change according to this, we should change the CC commands to 35. And the CC value that's to 127. It's not for sense control, so, and not for tap control. We just enable the toggling. I guess to control the modules, we need the toggling function. So if not, we can change back. Okay, that's all for key zero. Yes, save. Key one, 36. 
zero, one. So this is seven. We need some page and uh, be careful. For key four, this is different because this is an up key. The previous CC45 is for the tuner. So Nair wants this for the tab. Let's change it to 44. 44. Not for sense, it's for tab and uh, no toggling. Okay. Just a little patient. Okay, the key nine. Key nine is uh, 45 for the tuner control. No tap, need a toggle. Let's look at the overall setups. Yeah, we can make it like uh, the name order two. Change the name called the two and uh, okay. All left is we can just uh, copy this presets 10 folder and the global setup 10. This one folder and one file into our device and uh, overwrite what existing then power off and on again. Everything should be done. So let's go to the USB setup mode. And, and we hold the key one power on the device. Then we will see this MIDI Captain folder here. Now here is what we have on our device. And here is what we have. We have modified on one of our package. If you already update the device to the new firmware, you don't have to do a full disk copy. That takes too long time. And we can just uh, yeah, we can just do uh, here. So, and presets 10, presets 10. Let's overwrite all the files. One thing we need to mention that I'm doing all of this in the Windows system. It will be much quicker than in Mac system. This file is actually very small, so the copy process should be very fast. Uh, even it's right in the flash uh, inside the device. Another thing we need to be very careful is that when, whenever it is copy something and paste and writing the internal flash, we cannot power off the device. Files will be lost and even other files could be lost. So we needed to reinstall the firmware, re-update the whole firmware package again to make the device alive. Okay, we can power off the device. Then we just do a normal power on. Let's see what happened to presets 10. Yeah, the name changed to quarter called two, then it will restart. Yes. So 35, 36, 37. Now let's look at the final result. So please forgive my table is in chaos. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This this little fan, I will put it inside the code Cortex DSP. Yes. I'm considering design the uh, auto controlled active heat dissipation. So now MIDI Captain is already connected to Cod Cortex. After the change, let's see. Yeah. I can understand now. So these eight buttons actually exactly doing the same thing as these eight buttons now. So whenever you set in stop mode, you can do the stop control like this. Now let's see the tab function. So 
Previously, the tap is here. Now, the tap is here. Tap and uh, tuner, tuner on off. Okay, I think this is what Neil Zaza wants. Great, I will send a message to him right now. Please subscribe my channel and uh, I will continue to bring more information about products and also topics about multi-effects, music, electronic related. Okay, see you next time.